Hi guys, welcome back to Fabulous Autism Mommy. Today we're going to talk about how to improve eye contact uh, for kids with a autism diagnosis. So when Eli was around two years old, um, yeah, a little bit over two, he was, we were told there was some more, some red flags of um, autism and I um, did a lot of reading and a lot of research and um, I came across this one post from like a baby center community post and there was like a lot of people talking and you know um, one of the ladies said you know I put stickers on my nose to help improve my child's eye contact um, so what I started doing um, I didn't have stickers or I don't know I just didn't think that I, I needed to do that but what I did do to help improve his eye contact was whenever I was speaking to him and he was looking at something else I would grab whatever object he was looking at and I would put it right here next to my face and I mean there would be times where I'd have like multiple things like you know I look like I look a little crazy but I, I definitely saw an improvement um, one of the things I've noticed that the therapists do is they also have the, they'll pick up the item, but instead of putting it right next to their face, once they have their eye contact, um, they just kind of gradually move it to the back. So it kind of disappears and they're looking at, at your face instead of whatever it is that they're looking at. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you have stickers, feel free to stick them on your nose, on your forehead, whatever. Whatever it is that you need to do to bring their attention to your face is um, important because, again, if they're not looking at your face, they can't see your lips moving, they can't see your facial expressions, and, um, you know, it, it seems like a small thing, but actually eye contact and just being aware of this right here, your face, is crucial. I, I want to say that for a really long time, Eli um, didn't react to my facial expressions um, or my grunting noises. You know, when he was nonverbal, I most of the time would grunt a lot and, you know, and it never seemed to phase him until at like one point, and I'm not sure exactly when that happened, but it was, I can clearly remember when it happened. I had him in my arms and I don't know what we were doing, but I grunted, you know, like, oh, I'm sure I was trying to tell him not to do something. And I said, oh, and he like let go of it, which is a reaction that you normally get, you know, at a very young age. But, you know, obviously, because I didn't know Eli had autism, he wasn't reacting to my nonverbal grunting, you know. Um, but anyhow, I, I really think it was, I'm pretty sure that happened after the fact, after I, we improved his, um, eye contact. So I hope that helps. If you are a mommy of a kiddo with autism and you have any tips on how to improve eye contact, please leave it down below. Or if you have any questions, let us know. Um, you know, up until now, I still struggle with that. Eye contact is something I still struggle with with and actually one other thing that I didn't mention earlier is sometimes if I notice that he's like spacing out like he's like staring off and he's not really looking at any one thing I'll just I'll just kind of go like this like not like move my hand really fast I, I kind of just like hold hold my hand over his eyes so so it kind of just like breaks it sometimes sometimes that helps I just kind of you know go like this and then he'll come back and you know I'll have his attention again um so that's something I do now. I don't I don't have to hold up as many objects anymore to my face, but um, I do have to get them out of that spaciness. Anyways, um, that's it for today, guys. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Remember to subscribe and share if you know anybody that might need this. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.